Hello, I'm Sam Cox and welcome to my Colossus Bet Syndicate Preview. First up in the Millionaire Syndicate is Hull vs West Ham. Hull have not been as good as they were initially under Marco Silva, but are still resolute in defence and I fancy them to come out with a 2-1 or 2-0 here. They're undefeated in their last five at home while the Hammers have lost three in a row. The next fixture is Burnley vs Spurs. Sean Dyche's side have been formidable at home all season and upset many of the big boys already. However, they, they come up against the Tottenham side that are in really strong form and I can't see them quite getting a victory here. The absence of Harry Kane will hurt Spurs on this occasion though and I can see this petering out into a 1-1. The potential cracker at St Mary's. Cloudwell Southampton have improved after their EFL Cup disappointment but the doubt, the doubt over the fitness of Manolo Gabbiadini for this match makes it tough to see them winning the game. Shane Long leading the line is never going to fill the side with confidence and Bournemouth have, been, have staged somewhat of a revival after looking like they could be pulled into the relegation fight. Eddie Howe's side continue to attack, and I can see them picking up an away victory here, with a 3-1 the most likely scoreline. Now it's Swansea versus Middlesbrough. Despite two defeats before the international break, I still see Swansea being comfortable this season, and I think Middlesbrough in a really tricky situation, having not hired a direct replacement for Eitel Karanka just yet. They continue to be unable to score, and while Swansea will leak, may leak goals, I don't think Middlesbrough are going to take advantage and they should be able to pick up another crucial three points at Liberty Stadium. So I'm calling this one 2-0. Now. now Arsenal has Manchester City and we all know what it's like with Arsenal in big games. It's going to be a lot of hope, maybe some attacking football, but ultimately a defensive howl or a tactical mishap will leave Manchester City too many opportunities and they'll lose the game. And that's what I expect to happen here once again. Manchester City are on fire in attack and Leroy Sane and Raheem Sterling will just be too hot to handle for Arsenal's defence. So I think a 3-1 or a 3-2 Plenty of goals, the City will come out with an important victory and Arsenal look doomed to finish outside the top four. So the final match this week is Juventus' trip to Napoli. I think Napoli are a brilliant side and they play some wonderful football, but Juventus once again look almost unbeatable as they march towards yet another title. And a 1-1 is probably the most likely result here, or a low score away victory for Juve. And there we have it. That's the end of my preview for this weekend's fixtures. Feel free to give me a follow on Twitter, at SamRCox underscore, and give Colossus Bet to follow as well. And join in one of my syndicates, you might even win some money.